Complex sketching tools like helical curve and advanced polygon creation allow us to focus on our designs and not so much on the tool. Let's take a look. Here we have a soil sampler part uh, that first, first of all needs to have a, a hex head applied here with the polygon sketching tool. In the past we had uh, only one method of creating a polygon. Uh, now we have a couple of options. This time I want to create a hex. Now I have the option of creating it either by the center, zoom in a little bit there, center of the edge, or by the vertex. We'll use the vertex in this case. so that uh, we have a, the edges of the, uh, of the feature perfectly cover the edge. Now Solid Edge allows us to create complex features from simple ske sketches very simply. We're going to use just our simple sketching tool here and define the plane on which we want to draw. Again there's a number of planes in there. We, we use Quick Pick to find our base plane and lock to that and I'm going to not draw yet, I'm going to draw into here, just uh, create a line into here, an arc up from here to the ninety degree point and just up here. Now Solid Edge allows us to have open profiles. I'm going to do a sweep here. I'm going to remove material and sweep it around this feature here. Uh, we can uh, select the direction of the sweep and I want to do a 360. And it very quickly produces the features that we want. Now let's take a look at the helix. As part of this new design we need to create a complex helical feature that will be used to drill into the earth. Um, to do that we need to have a, uh, a complex helical curve which is now available under our surfacing tools. It's a very simple tool to drive. Uh, we simply give it the, the range which is just down the center of the, the probe here and some width. Now we do that fairly arbitrarily just to get the length 135 millimeters and the diameter is whatever comes up here and we can change this now there's three types of curves that we can create we can have a constant pitch a variable pitch and a compound um, I'll just add with a compound we can have a number of points at which the the length pitch and turns and diameter etc changes because we're using the method of length and pitch our length and pitch uh, is specified and it works out the number of turns. I'm going to insert another two uh, parameters in here. We're going to set the diameter here to uh, 46. That's our first diameter at the bottom there. The next one is also 46. Uh, the last one happens to be, I know, 8 millimeters at the top here. Um, our length uh, the first one is 25. We can keep entering those. I know the pitch uh, is going to be 10 all the way through and I can add all of those and you can see the um, the preview updating there. But we can save these settings and I've already done that for this Earth Probe and I've saved that and we can see our lengths, uh, our pitches. You notice the last one's greyed out because that's the length that we derive from the probe here. Okay, um, let's preview that curve and it generates a curve. Now all we have to do to uh, with this curve is to create a swept protrude, a, a sweep along it. We want to sweep a profile along there. So first we need to select our path which is that curve. Check that off. Now I'm going to use a plain normal to curve to draw my... And I'll set that back to zero to make sure it's right on the end and I'll draw a circle there right on the end and that needs to be three millimeters to give us our wire diameter there and we just return to our, uh, our sweat protrusion command uh, select the profile and 
finish. And it generates our complex helix. Very nice. One more thing that we want to do here is just sharpen that off. Solid Edge provides us with a nice little tool to do that. Uh, we're going to do a, uh, a chamfer with angle and setback. Pick the face, select that. Pick the edge, select that. And it produces us a nice sharp edge. Now we've got a, um, as you can see, uh, quite a complex feature here. And one of the beauties of uh, Solid Edge is how easy these things are to edit. To edit this, I want to make it a little longer, for instance. All I have to do is pick the base feature that I used here, and we're going to increase the length of that by, I don't know, let's say uh, 15 millimeters. There we go. You can see it move with the cursor. I can either drag it to a position or give it an accurate dimension. So when we return to our um, our armadillo here, uh, let's put the uh, let's put the soil sampler on there. As we saw, the helical curve feature uh, gives you the ability to create an almost infinite, ver infinitely variable uh, helix. Um, you can have a constant, variable, compound, as we did then, and obviously it can be used to create other features such as sweep. As this example demonstrates, Solid Edge with synchronous technology along with in intuitive and powerful design tools drives innovation and enables you to bring better products to market faster. Don't let your engineering software get in the way of your company's success.